Hey guys. So today I am doing a guide to Hollister jeans. Um, I've gotten some questions in the past about sizing and such. So I've decided to do a video so I can answer all those questions. So I'm going to talk about all the different kinds of styles. Um, the fit. <coughs> size. <coughs> <coughs> sizings and shorts and such so let me just let me just um start um now with tosser jeans there are all different kinds there are super skinny uh which is ocean side skinny which is laguna boot cut which is venus and flare which is cali and they all have different, obviously, different leggings. Um, so this is one pair. These are flared. And these are, and it says Cali Flare in the zipper. You can see that. So, Cali Flare. All holster jeans have the signature holster button. Little birdie on it. And, um... So this is where you see the size. <coughs> um, so yeah, let's start with this. Halter jeans, they go from size double zero to eleven. So we'll go by they go by odd numbers. So it's double zero zero one three um five seven nine eleven. So yeah. And they come in short, regular, and long. Um, I have short and regular. I don't fit regular though, but this is um size three short. They're all made in China. So it says Hollister and some of have the uh -huh. and then so this is the width. This would be the width around your waist and the length going down. So my width is twenty six and my um Length is 31. So that's just me personally. And then all Hollister jeans have the sign and the signature back pocket, which is that. And they always have the little, my nails, birdie in the right pocket thing. And they have tons of different washes. They have super light washes, gray, white, medium, medium dark, light, medium dark super dark um so look at that these are just so yeah they come in all different kind of washes these ones happen to be like dark medium so like they're me they're dark and then they have like a medium tint to them as you can see and these are flared so they're this is the flare legs um i don't have any boot cut <coughs> to show you because i don't wear boot cut but, yeah, you can just imagine this a little bit smaller, probably, like, to there. That's probably what we could. <coughs> um, so, yeah, those are the Cali Flared. And then Laguna Skinnies should have a pair of those. Uh, yeah, Laguna Skinnies. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna like have random jeans here. So these are Laguna skinnies. Um, these are a seven regular. They're way too big for me. But yeah. Look like this. Again, the signature pocket, the bird, and then the fit. So these are the skinny legs. And then these are, I believe, these are super skinny. Yeah, these are Oceanside Super Skinnies. These are, again, too big for me. Um, these are a 5 short. So. And these are Super Skinny Legs. And I love their Super Skinnies. They're amazing. Super thin. I like these a lot. <coughs> so, sorry. I'm still kind of sick. I'm the only person that's sick in my bowl. Anyways, um... Hollister jeans, if they're on sale, they can, oops, sorry, they can be as low as nineteen ninety, but they rarely go that low. 
Um, some jeans are, when they're on sale, is about $29.95 or $98 or something like that. So around $30 on sale. Um, regular price are $39.50, um, and a lot of the online ones are around $69.50 to $79.50. Um, so it can be around there, around $20 to $80, anywhere around there. Um, but yeah, so just let me get started with um, the sizing because I know lots of people have trouble with that if they don't live near a haul store and they have to order offline, what do they base it on? Um, I'm just going to compare it to Aeropostale just because a lot of people, Aeropostales are probably everywhere, you know, lots of people wear them and such, so I'm just going to compare it to that. If not, I have, like, the length and such around here. Now, I am a size 3 in flare jeans. That's what I started out with, flare jeans. I'm going to go back to this one, actually. <coughs> um, I am size 3 short. I showed you this before. And these are the ones with the um, SoCal stretch. So they are stretchy material, you know. They are stretchy jeans. You guys can't tell. Oh, well, but they're pretty stretchy. And they fit really nice. They're just a bit snug and really, really, they fit really good. And, like I said, those are the flare legs. And so, when I started out, I always thought that, you know, and I'm a size 3 short in Hollister. Don't underestimate yourself in Hollister even because it's Hollister, you know. Um, not all swimsuit models go shop there, you know. I'm... Not some amount. I'm so like I'm pretty fat or chubby, whatever. And I'm a size three. So <clears throat> and I'm a size three four and and Aeropostale. Um, but like Aeropostale, they don't have any stretchy kinds. So when I wear skinny jeans, I would have to go up a size to five six. I'm more of a four five, but whatever. So I thought that was the same with Hollister, which is why you see a lot of jeans. These ones are seven. Regular. These ones are five short. This is why I thought that, you know, I should go up a size. So I got seven regular, and it was just way too big. It really stretched out. Um, I didn't like them. So, you know, I decided to go down size. These fit really well in stores. But the thing is, like, yeah, they fit nice in stores. But when you get them home, and you actually start wearing them, like, to school, like, throughout the day... They will stretch out quite a bit. So you definitely want to get one the same size. So if you're a flare three short, get a skinny or boot cut three short. See? These ones fit me so well. And they still have the SoCal stretch. Um, and they look like these. And these are the ocean side super skinny ones. And look like that. So. And so, yeah. Um, definitely don't go down. I definitely do not rec recommend going up a size when it comes to skinny jeans or even Oceanside Super Skinny Jeans. Because these are Oceanside Super Skinnies. And um, I don't recommend going up or down. I mean, up a size at all. Because they do stretch out quite a bit. And I don't know, I don't like my jeans stretching out. I like them to fit. I like, to, like them to stay fitted throughout the day. So, that's just my opinion or whatever. But I like that. So, but for me, I don't recommend going up a size when it comes to skinny jeans. Um, yeah. Um, Hollister isn't known, but they have a lot of, like, distressed jeans. And I do like that, but... <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot to go back to the size. I'm so sorry. Um, they're jeans. Like I said, don't go upper size when it comes to skinny jeans or anything like that. Um, definitely stay the same size. And a three is comparable to Aeropostale around a three, four. A five is around a five, six, seven, seven, eight, you know, around there. You know, they're very comparable. Um, now let's talk about now, a lot of, a majority of the jeans have the SoCal stretch, which is a little bit tag on the, um, under the Hollister sign inside the size, but some of them don't. It's 
and majority of the kinds that aren't so cow stretch are the kinds that I just stress like quite a bit and which I, I like them um, but it's not really all that easy to find short because after the size 5 they don't have short so it goes zero, double zero zero one three five short and then from 7 up they don't have short it's only regular or long so <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so as you can see these are a 5 short and they fit well because they don't have the SoCal stretch so these are 5 short um, with 27 length 21 and they don't have the SoCal stretch so they don't stretch um, at all and I love that and these are super distressed a lot of these jeans you've seen in like haul videos and such so these are flared so like that in the back as you can see they're kind of they're like distressed quite a bit and pockets and so that's what I love about these types is that they don't really like the material isn't stretchy and so they're bound not to stretch but type like but whenever you don't have the little red tag right here that says SoCal Stretch, I recommend going up a size. So that they're fitted, but <coughs> not <coughs> super tight. I'm sorry, I'm so really thick. And I like these a lot. So I don't really get a chance to wear those too much, but yeah. And they look nice. So I got those. I mean, so those ones are without the stretch. Uh, I could show you another pair without the stretch. Um, Hollister generally don't have, uh, jeans with the buttons on the back like this, the flap. But sometimes you will find a pair. See, I don't even know this little Hollister thing. But sometimes you will find a pair like that. Generally not, but yeah. Um, I don't really like them because as you can see in the back, that one fell off. But, <coughs> whatever. And again, these don't have the stretch, so that's what I'm a five short. And they are distressed. Again, once again, they're flared. Um, distressed. Not as much as the other ones, though. But, yeah. And the pockets are in distress, so, yeah. Um, the distressed jeans are generally a bit more pricey than the, um, <coughs> regular ones. So, keep that in mind. So, sorry, I'm trying to put these all back on my ears. So, the general idea is like don't go up unless they're distressed, like with the SoCal stretch, um, which is why a lot of my skinny jeans and Laguna skinnies I don't wear them as much just because the fact that these are all fives and sevens and they don't just they just don't fit me. They're way too big for me. Um, I have to go out and buy a couple threes and super 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 skinnies and I don't really wear skinnies anymore, but I like super skinnies. Alright, moving on. Um, now let's talk about Hollister shorts. Um, I know I get a lot of comments, um, or not comments, like, <coughs> people are like, oh, you know, Hollister shorts are so short. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't really think that they're that short. I mean, like, if you get the appropriate size, like your size, it's not supposed to be that short. I mean, yeah, there are a couple that are pretty short, but... You don't have to get them, you know. <laughs> um, so, in Hollister shorts, like I said, I definitely recommend going up a size. Because, I don't know, there's no reason. Just because you should go up a size. Um, I'm generally a 3, like I said. And they don't have lights, obviously. And I'm a 5. And Hollister shorts. <coughs> a 3 is just too small for me. These are gray. This is a great sample of different colors that they have. These are gray, and the back, and um, I don't like these have like little zipper, um, like the kinds without a fold. I don't really recommend getting them all too much. I mean, they're really cute, like the frayed hem and all. They're really cute, but I don't really recommend getting them just for the fact that because once you get them, as you wash them, they get shorter and shorter and shorter, and I don't like that. Um, but I did get this one because. It has the bun to rent it, but, I mean, the zipper. But the front, as you can see, it's, like, rolling up, kind of. you see that? Like, if I hold it down, it just rolls back up. <coughs> and it wasn't like this before. So, like, yeah. And these don't really have a name, I don't believe. I think these are just Cali. Yeah. But, yeah. 
I really like their shorts though. They fit really well and they look really cute. So that's a pair. Um, I can show you pairs with the fold. I really like the ones with the fold. These are slightly bigger, so I don't really wear these as much. Or like I like them to be a little bit looser. But these have the fold. Definitely don't go up a size with the ones with the fold and without a fold. Uh, definitely stay the same size. A lot of people think that just because it's skinny or with the fold a little bit tighter, you know, definitely don't change sizes. Like it's not <coughs> necessary. I should feel. I should say. Um, so these are a little bit bigger, but some, you know, some days you just kind of want, you know, wear a little bit looser clothing. So I wear these in the summertime and then like just the tank top or something. I don't know. Whatever. So they look like this. And oops, they have the fold to them. And the great thing about Hollister shorts is even if they have the rip, they don't, they don't have the size or anything because they're not stretchy or anything like that. So that's why, because they don't, they don't, they're not stretchy, definitely go up one size from, like, if you are before. Um, so, these ones have the fold, and so do these ones. I actually just got these, if you guys have seen my recent haul. Look like this. They still have the tag on them, sorry. I haven't worn these yet. But yeah, these are size 5. Five. And, and most Hollister jeans are $34.50 and that's on sale, which they sometimes are, but that's like the normal price for jeans. I mean shorts, sorry. And they're like a dark wash and some of them have two buttons, some of them don't, majority of them don't. <coughs> and they are slightly distressed. And what I like about Hollister jeans now, as you can see before, they never had like the sparkly pockets. Now they do. They're like really pretty. I like it now. So the gold really stands out. So that's that. Super pretty. Oh, let me block that light. And there we go. So super pretty. Um, I like their jeans. I mean, I love their shorts. Yeah, they sometimes can be short. Like my gray ones are really short. But these folded ones, I don't feel like they are. They just fit really nice. Um, so yeah, that, yeah. Do I think Hollister jeans are worth it? Um, I definitely do. Because I feel like Aeropostale jeans, even if you get your size, I get 3-4. They still do stretch out. And there's no way you can finish like a 1-2 if you're 3-4. But I feel like they stretch out. And I feel like in Hollister jeans... If you get the right size and they fit you, the thing with a Hol okay, okay, so with Hollister, you should, when you try them on in stores, definitely get them to fit you a little bit tighter than you normally would like it, um, because <coughs> as you wear them, they will stretch out a tiny bit to make them really snug and just really, they feel really comfy after a while, um, and sometimes they do hug around the waist, but it's not, like, suffering you, not, like, squishing you, you know, yeah, um, but when you try them on stores, definitely want them to be a little bit tighter than you normally like to wear it, because it will stretch out a bit, so, yeah, um, I, in my opinion, I think haul stretch jeans are worth it, because they fit really nice, and if you get the right size, like I said, they won't stretch on, <coughs> they won't stretch all that much on you, and, um, I feel like the material that they make it out of from, instead of Aeropostale jeans, I feel like, I'm not hating on Aeropostale, by the way, I like Aeropostale a lot, if you guys have seen my hauls, but lately I've been not really liking Aeropostale's, Aeropostale clothing, but, anyways, I feel like their material is a lot nicer, that they make their jeans out of, if you buy a pair of Hollister, if you guys have Hollister jeans and, Aeropo and Aeropostale jeans, feel the material, it's like a lot softer, and just, I don't know, just a lot nicer. Um, <coughs> which is why their jeans are a little bit pricier than Aeropostles. And it's a really good place for, like, how do I say, like, shorter people. I'm, like, 5'3", five, 5'2", five, around there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty short for almost 14-year-old. My birthday's in 20... My birthday's in 25 days. Yay! 
Wait. No, my birthday's in 20... Can't do math. 21 days, sorry. But this is in 21 days. My birthday's April 26th. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I can't wait. Like, okay, come on. Um, because I'm pretty short, their shorts fit me really, really well. So I feel like if you're a pretty short person, and it's a really, it's always really hard for me to find jeans because I'm just so short. And I feel like it's a really good place for me to get jeans because it fits my length. And it fits my width, and I like it. Um, but even if you're not short like me, you can definitely, f like, find different lengths <coughs> to fit you. And, um, I like their jeans a lot, you know? And, um, I feel like for the price you pay, you're getting pretty good wear out of it. I mean, I can, you can definitely get at least four... Three four, three, four years out of one pair. Even probably longer if you take really good care of them. Um, but, yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. I know lots of people, you know, it's pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not, like, with the ec uh, nominal. Like, with the um, economy right now, I know it's going to be hard to afford, like, a $50 pair of jeans. Or for, like, one time. But, like, they're, they always have, like, jeans on sales. Like, flares are normally always on sale. Um, before they weren't, but now they are. They're, like, I think they're discontinued or something. I don't know. But they fit really well, and I definitely recommend them to you guys. If you guys have problems finding jeans that fit you, definitely go try them, and <coughs> don't underestimate yourself in the size. Like, when I started out with Hollister, I thought I was, like, a size 9 or 11 because I'm pretty chubby. And a lot of people who shop there are really, really thin. And... You know, I thought that I couldn't, like, be their size. Like, I thought they were, like, a z double... Like, obviously, they're, like, probably a double zero, zero, one, three, around there. But as time went on, I tried more and more jeans, and I realized that I'm really not... Like, you know, I shouldn't underestimate myself. And I definitely recommend you guys, even if you think you're chubby, because honestly, you're probably not. Um, not as, <laughs> not as much as me or anything. Um, anyways, even though I think... I know lots of people feel uncomfortable shopping there because, you know, they see, like, a whole bunch of, like, really skinny girls going there and all. Um, I definitely recommend you going in and trying on jeans or something because I would never think that I was a size, like, small in Hollister short, short shirts and then, like, jeans are my size 3. Like, you know, that's just really... That makes me feel happy because growing up, I was a really fat girl, <laughs> and I still am, but growing up, I was, and, you know, I've been always told that from, like, family and such, and, yeah, but it really just makes me happy to know that I'm really, that I fit into a size three, and, yeah, I, the point is, don't underestimate yourself, you know, you're probably a size three or five, you know, definitely something like that, but, yeah. If you guys have any more questions, definitely ask me in the comments. And again, I'm not hating on our apostle anymore. It's just a comparison video. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.